Hey guys, welcome to my second video of how to build a cheap NAS server. I have mine set up over here in the closet. Here it is, as you can see from the last video. Uh, I added this fan just to cool down the hard drives that I had installed into the dock. And all it does is help cool down the hard drives obviously. All I did was cut off the ends from the fan and cut off the end of a USB uh, micro USB cable and basically just soldered the two together and you have a USB powered fan. Okay, so I connected the 20 foot ethernet cable, cat6 ethernet cable all the way around here to my gigabit switch that's also connected to a 20 foot uh, cat6 cable that's connected to my computer and then here this yellow one comes down to my router it's a pretty simple setup nothing real fancy uh, I only have uh, the server and my computer connected to the gigabit switch I could have my PS4 also but I need to buy another cat6 cable um, but yeah, this the setup is pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I'll I'll show you guys how to set up Open Media Vault once we get back to the desktop. And yeah, see you guys then. All right, guys. Now we're on my desktop, and I'm gonna be showing you how to set up Open Media Vault uh, using the web interface. You open up your web browser. And you're gonna have to go to your router or if you had your server connected to a uh, display per, uh, display it will show you what exactly your port is and what exactly uh, your assigned IP address is and if you don't know that you're gonna have to go to your router and look at your connected devices and see what exactly what IP address exactly was given to your machine your server after you find that out, you go in. Uh, you go into your desktop and you basically type it in. So mine was set to 10.0.0.75. So this is the screen you'll see. And then the stock is admin, and the password should be Open Media Vault. Press login. And you should come up with this, the dashboard. Yours should probably look a little bit different because I have plugins installed, like OMV sensors, which tells me the CPU temperature. Okay, next thing you gotta go to is op Update Manager. You check if there's any updates available, and you make sure to uh, install them all by pressing the little upgrade button. After that, go into plugins look for OMV extras install that okay once you enable the OMV extras you come down here and click on OMV extras you go down to multimedia enable the plex little tab press save and apply now you go back to plugins and you search Plex, click on it and press install. Then you want to go to file systems under storage and create a file system if your hard drive hasn't been formatted yet. If it's already formatted, all you gotta do is it should come up here automatically and just click on it and press mount and that will make uh, your your hard drive or your little format accessible to the rest of uh, Open Media Vault. Then you go in, down to user, you add a user, and make sure you remember the the password for that user because it'll be important later on when you're trying to look for it on your Windows computer. Okay, now you go down to shared folders, you add a shared folder. You type the name, select the hard drive, 
and the path will automatically take the uh, name of your shared folder or you could look for a hold on you can look for a folder inside that hard drive then you press save and then you click on your um, your little shared folder press ACL and make sure that uh, your permissions are correct so your group users should always be read write and I just put read write execute uh, just so I could execute files from my server and then make sure your user account is also read write and then you save and apply all the permissions to the files and subfolders after that you come down to SMB and you press enable and then you come down to uh, you go down to shares and you press add and you could uh, look for your shared file folder and then name it and then I usually keep all the stock settings press save and it will tell you to apply and these are basically the folders that will be accessible through your file explorer your windows file explorer and then you come over to plex media server with settings and uh, look for your database volume and then press enable save apply after that you just press plex web client and it'll, uh, it'll take you to this screen and it'll tell you to sign in or sign up and it'll take you through a setup course which will tell you which it will ask you where your movies and your music and your pictures if you have any are and it should be pretty straightforward after that now for the windows part since we just already enabled SMB you come down to your uh, file explorer you go down to network and you re refresh it if it's not under your computers right here and here's mine zbox server and it'll, it'll ask you for logon credentials and it'll be whatever you made your user remember i told you guys to remember what the password was because this is right when you'll need it okay and then after that you should see all your uh, shares, your folder shares uh, that we have right here. So you have three website test and media. Here they are media test website. Then after that, you can do whatever you have to do with this. And yeah, that's been a short walkthrough of how setting up uh, the file sharing and through Windows and how to set up Plex Media Server real quick.